high school basketball team practicing this summer for a fall season is now trying to figure out ways to get their uniforms replaced. The JV and varsity jerseys from Hiram Johnson High School were taken last week after the coach's car was stolen from his apartment complex. CBS 13's Kelly Ryan talked to the coach who is now racing to find the money to replace the uniforms as an order deadline looms. Kelly? This is a team that has a new coach and a new dream to be the first winning basketball team at Hiram Johnson in more than 20 years. But now thieves have made that dream a little more difficult. They can't play in the league this fall without those official uniforms, and those cost thousands of dollars. Well, you know, I'd kind of like to reserve a whole wall. New basketball coach Alex Gomes Quelu has hopes his team makes it on the wall of winners at Hiram Johnson High School. But with no game jerseys, that can happen. It was heartbreaking. Just two months into his job as head basketball coach, his team's JV and varsity uniforms have been stolen. You know, lights flip on and the car goes off. That's what he saw when he looked at the apartment complex surveillance video. It was last Thursday in the early morning hours when his car parked inside his gated complex was stolen with the basketball team's jerseys inside. We have, you know, nice brand stuff, some Adidas jerseys. You know, you have a home one, a away one, matching shorts. They have our logos on them and everything. The practice jerseys were later found and turned into police. The expensive uniforms kept by the thieves. So the home ones will say Warriors and the away ones will say Johnson. The team is using the practice jerseys now, but league rules say they can't be worn for games. Ordering new uniforms takes time and money. They have to be ordered by July 1st for the team to get them by September. And the cost for another set of uniforms isn't in the budget. It, it was $3,300 just for the varsity jerseys. Add the JV ones in and the team is out $5,000. The coach is trying to work fast, thinking of ways to fundraise. In the meantime, it's his team that ends up holding the bag. In this case, an empty one. They come and they work hard and it just breaks my heart to see, you know, that work that they put in to be rewarded with somebody stealing their stuff. And the coach was planning on buying the team warm-up uniforms this year. Most other schools have them. And he wanted his players to feel like their team was just as good as the others. But now that's not happening as he tries to figure out ways to fundraise fast for these jerseys with just weeks to go until that deadline for ordering uniforms. All right, Kelly, thank you very much for that. Speaking of 